Hi guys, I'm Shannon the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center. Today I'm going to plant up my newly installed window boxes I've put along the back of my house here. Now I get part sun in this spot. I have hostas all planted underneath. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in and then I will plant them. So first I've chosen two different begonias. This one's a two burst begonia. Doing one, sorry. So that's a two burst begonia and it's a orange yellow mix. This one's a begonia as well, two burst family and it has little yellow blooms. So you can see it looks a lot different, different leaves, different flowers to give different texture in there. And then I'm going to most likely put a little Boston fern in there for a little bit of height and some more texture. Then I'm going to put in, these guys are more are trailing. This one is a trailing coleus, and I picked one that was green with more of a yellow center and cream in the center. And then this one here is trailing as well. This one's streptocarpella. There's a very dainty little uh, purple flower there. And then I'm just gonna, just for fill in, I'm going to do some plain green, just some plain green ivy, okay? So those are the different things. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different items I'm putting in. Um, all will, all different color, all different texture, but all in the same color family. So I'm going to, I have four across there are filled with potting soil and I'm going to plant them up now. Okay, so I'm done planting. I have added any extra potting soil just in and around a few of them that wasn't enough soil to keep the top of the plant. So when you plant these guys, if you see my previous videos, I stress this. Um, when you take it out, you just uh, work the roots a bit. Then when you put the plant in the planter, your soil level is exactly the same height as the root ball is. You don't go above and you don't have that poking out. So this top of this root ball is right at the top of your soil. So I went through and added any extra bit of soil I needed in it around the plants. And then I gave them all a good drink with my fancy watering can here, an old um, pitcher. And I just use that to water. So I've given them all a good water and I'm going to sprinkle them with blood meal only because I have a lot of squirrels and things around that like to dig up my newly planted planters. So I'll sprinkle some blood meal in there. It's a natural fertilizer, so it's good for the plants. But it will also help to keep the squirrels away. Keep my fingers crossed it works. It usually works for my other ones, but let's see. Because I haven't done flowers here before, so we'll see if this works. But hope you enjoyed. I'd like to see what you guys planted in your planters. And um, I'll keep you guys updated on the how these guys grow and what they start to look at in probably another week or two. See you guys.